News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290, and now 101.5 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. More details emerging about a family murder-suicide in Deer Lodge. Good morning, everyone. It's Montana Morning. It's Tuesday, June 9th, 2015. Another spectacular day. Yes, we did set a new high, record high yesterday. We'll get to that here in a few minutes. Right now, it's 58 degrees in Missoula. Gorgeous, clear blue sky. And our newscast this morning is sponsored by Dr. Troy Doxy and the friendly team at Chiropractic Works. Call 728-0222 for your appointment. Officials in southwestern Montana, they're investigating after a man shot and killed his wife and three children, set a fire in the family's one-room cabin, and then killed himself. Anaconda Deer Lodge Police Chief Tim Barkill says the shootings occurred Sunday morning at a cabin about 15 miles southeast of Deer Lodge. Detective Steve Barclay says an investigation has now determined that the man shot his wife and one-year-old child inside the cabin, then went outside and shot two more children ages four and six. He carried the bodies of the children inside and laid them down on a bed. Officials say he then set fire to a chair and shot himself. Coroner Jerry Thomas said the man was 59, his wife was 37. They reportedly had lived in the cabin full-time for a couple of years. Still, no names have been released. A man previously convicted of murder, 48-year-old Frank Belmars, appeared in Missoula Justice Court yesterday, charged with two felonies, assault with a weapon and partner or family member assault. Deputy Missoula County Attorney Celine Kepke asked Judge Karen Orzek for a high bail. The defendant here was convicted of mitigated deliberate homicide for stabbing his last wife and discharged his prison term in 2011. In this case, Your Honor, the defendant threatened to kill both victims and the state believes that this is a grave community safety risk. If the defendant should be released, we Asked for no contact with the victims. Judge Orzek remanded Belmares back to the Missoula County Jail on $200,000 bond. By the way, Belmares was convicted of uh, killing his former wife with a knife. Another man, 35-year-old Michael Sorley, was charged with assault with a weapon, also a knife. Kepke asked for $50,000 bail in this case. The defendant was arrested after terrorizing a woman in the parking lot of Mission 316. He was brandishing a knife and threatened to cut the victim from the crotch up. The defendant also stated that he could wait until 2 a.m. while she was asleep and douse her car with gasoline and light her on fire. The public defender told Judge Orzek that Sorley has mental problems and could not answer her questions personally. She remanded sorely to the jail on $50,000 bail. A Great Falls woman has been sentenced to 15 years in prison for her role in the methadone overdose death of a 19-year-old man last year. The Great Falls Tribune reports 50-year-old Cheryl Ingram Daigle was sentenced Monday. Following the recommendation of her plea agreement, Daigle pleaded guilty in April to one count of negligent homicide under an agreement that recommended a 20-year prison term with five years suspended. Daigle apologized for her negligence at her hearing. A Missoula City ordinance against using handheld cell phones while driving took effect back in 2013. Already, members of the Missoula City Council are concerned that it's outdated. Councilman Jordan Hess plans to bring up the topic of wearable technology this month. We're particularly talking about the Apple Watch, uh, things along those lines that, um, that are real interactive. I guess I'd say active use type of wearable t- technologies. There's a lot of things like the Fitbit uh, that don't, you know, that that aren't so much in active use while the person is is driving. I'm particularly interested in how the devices that are used real actively interface with traffic safety. Hess says a particular ordinance is not up for discussion yet, but that he hopes to future-proof the current ordinance. I just want to have a discussion and make sure that we're proactive about safety. Um, one of the things that I want to do is is um, figure out a way to future-proof our ordinance. I mean, we've got an ordinance right now that talks about mobile phones, but uh, how do we craft an ordinance so that we don't have to be reactive every time there's a new type of technology so that there's some predictability? Missoula Public Safety and Health Committee will discuss these issues June 24th. Has says he expects it to be, quote, a slow process, end quote. U.S. government has made offers worth more than $230 million to nearly 12,000 landowners on the Fort Peck and Fort Belknap reservations to buy fractionated parcels of land and turn them over to tribal governments. The nationwide land buyback program is the second phase of a $3.4 billion class action lawsuit settlement over the mismanagement of royalties held in trust for Indian landowners by the government. Fort Peck landowners have until July 18th to accept offers, Fort Belknap until July 30th. 
Good news for Montana to use natural gas, according to Northwestern Energy spokesman Butch Larkham. We filed today our annual natural gas supply tracker, which is kind of our prediction for where natural gas prices are going to go in the coming year. And we're looking at some pretty good news there. We're expecting it to be flat with last year. And actually, when you compare the price of July 2015 with the price in July 2014, we're going to be about 32 percent lower. That should be good news for most folks. Markham says the consistent prices are a comfort to homeowners. For homeowners, you know, it, it's good news. A lot of people in Montana across our service here rely on natural gas to heat their homes in the colder months. And so, you know, steady prices that aren't increasing, you know, it certainly helps them budget their money and helps them plan for the months ahead. And so you know, we're expecting not a lot of change, which is good. Larkin warns, though, the natural gas prices are easily threatened by extreme weather. An event like a hurricane could offset those forecasts. Montana gas prices keep climbing. That's regular gasoline anyway. And petroleum analyst Will Spears says in one week, Montana prices rose nearly as much as the national price rose over the past four weeks. Another rough week for Montana drivers. Gas prices were up about almost seven and a half cents from last week. So the average uh, is $2.68 of what you'll be paying at the pump. Recent increases, so about $0.28 cents in the last month, uh, is still beating the national average of $2.76. Spears says the national average has peaked. Montana should as well in the next week or so. It's going to take about four weeks for the maintenance. So maybe a week or so less put that maintenance. And also uh, just Typical for Montana, it, it lags behind what the national trend is doing. We're, we're seeing a peak uh, happening for, for the summer gas prices. And uh, so Montana can expect to see that here uh, shortly. While Montana gas prices jumped by about eight cents over the past week, the national average up just half a penny. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks officials say poachers killed a female black bear near St. Regis, leaving the carcass and two abandoned cubs behind. Wardens say the bear was killed sometime between May 31st and June 3rd. A group of people in an, on all-terrain vehicles discovered the dead bear while riding on Forest Service Road 221 along the south fork of Little Joe Creek west of St. Regis. The carcass was found about 30 miles off the road. Warden found, found two cubs born this year. One died of malnourishment. The second was taken to a wildlife rehabilitation center. In Helena. Well, yes, Missoula and Kalispell both broke records for high temperatures for June 8th. Meteorologist Dave Noble with the National Weather Service has details. Our high was 93 yesterday, which broke the previous record of 91 degrees set back in 1918. Kalispell made 94 and broke the old record of 89 set back in 1948. And there you go. Now you know. News Talk Time 612. News Talk KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Ample sunshine today with our highs in the low 90s. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible through the early evening hours. We'll keep the threat of storms in the forecast on Wednesday. High temperatures Wednesday will be in the mid-80s. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster for KECI 13.